Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. My name's Sarah, this is Coco. She's in every video, she just snores. This is another case in the briefcase series. So it's just gonna be a short true crime case. And this one is solved. We haven't had a solved one yet. <music> Today's story is about the murder of Rebecca Gay. On Halloween day of 2012, Rebecca Gay was 24 years old. She just vanished. Completely vanished, like just like out of thin air from Broomfield Township, Michigan, which is where she lived. When Rebecca didn't show up for work. Her co-workers reported it to the police. She was so reliable and... She's noisy. She was so reliable and so dependable that when she didn't show up that day, they immediately called the police. So, the police are on it now. So, police were searching for her, talking to everybody, asking... Have you seen her? Do you know where she went? The basic questions that they do. Rebecca's mom, Sally Gay, was engaged to the pastor of the church. Like, it was the big church in this, in this township. So that's where everybody went. And so the police, while the police are searching, he's got his whole congregation in there. And he's like, y'all, please pray you know, that she's found and found quickly, and if anybody knows anything, please let the police know. Well, he's a shady motherfucker, and let me tell you why. So, Pastor John White, like I told you, he is engaged to Rebecca's mom, Sally, and he also babysits Rebecca's son, who is three years old. These people did not know his background or none of this would have. There would have been no engagement and no babysitting. So let me tell you about his background. Because that's what the police found out. They did a little digging in, you know, into everybody. And they're like, <laughs> we need to talk to the pastor and we need to talk to him now. Let me tell you about Pastor John White. Oh, Pastor White. Had a history of some horrifying crimes, y'all. Yeah. I always play that like we are the sick and twisted. Y'all, yeah, he was sick and twisted. But of course, because of our lovely justice system, at the time that Rebecca went missing, he was a free man. Now, if he would have been justly if justice would have been served in his prior crimes, he would not have been out. Okay, let me tell you what he did. So old sick and twisted Pastor John White with his horrendous past. He was in the Navy for a little while and then he was a long haul trucker. When Pastor John White was 22, it was 1980, that's when he started his crimes against women. He had some sick fantasies, y'all, but I'm going to tell you about them. But in 1980, he was 22, he invited his 17-year-old neighbor, Teresa Etherton, over to his house to his basement. He's like, hey, come look at this stock car racetrack that I built. It's so cool. I'd have had to pass, but she was like, okay. So she goes down there and she's just checking it out and she's not thinking anything without a clue. He just strikes and he stabs her 15 times while telling her, I'm sorry, it's just your time to go. You have to die because I said you have to die. 
I mean, what the fuck, you're just a woman. That's what he said to her. <laughs> but that dumbass left her for dead. She wasn't dead. Oh, no. That makes me happy. She was not dead. So, Teresa survived that and was like, that's the guy that did it right there, that one. Him? Mm-hmm. So, he went to jail and he appealed it. Yeah, he won. He was out of jail by 1983. He won on the grounds that his defense attorney didn't raise the insanity defense. You are not insane. You were just fucked up in the head. In 1994, 26-year-old Vicki Sue Wald disappeared from Comstock Township, Michigan. Can you take a guess who did it? And at this time, John White was married, had a couple of kids, and had another one on the way when Vicki Sue Wall disappeared. At this time, John White was working at a textile company, and that's where he met Vicki and they had an affair. Surveillance from a grocery store parking lot showed Vicki getting into John White's pickup truck at 3 a.m. And after that, she was never seen again. So that's what the police had. They didn't have a body or any evidence or anything else because, of course, John White was like, oh, no, I dropped her back off after that. I, mm-mm, was not me. Mm-mm. And like I said, no body, no other evidence. So they didn't have anything until six weeks later when her body is discovered. He had dumped her body in a rural area two miles from the grocery store where he had picked her up at. And her body was so decomposed that they couldn't determine the manner of death or the cause of death. But she was naked. No clothes on. All she had on was socks and a bra around her neck. And John White, they brought him back in. He still refused to talk or take a lie detector test, but they did aluminol on his truck and it lit up like a Christmas tree. So they had him then. In court, he pled no contest and y'all got eight to 15 years for killing Vicki Sewall. That's no time. So he spent 12 years in prison and was released in 2007. While he was in prison, he talked to a prison psychologist and he told the psychologist that he had fantasies of killing women and being intimate with their not alive bodies and that's what really got him going was being intimate with not alive bodies so this is the man that went on to be a pastor back to Rebecca Gay they don't know about his past it's been five years since he's been released from jail he gets engaged to Sally Gay, Rebecca's mom. And according to him, when he was engaged and moved in with her mom, the fantasies started up again. His, he said he, in his words, he had, quote, very violent fantasies about killing women and being intimate with their no longer alive bodies. So, what he did was, in the early morning hours of Halloween, 
he went to Rebecca's house. They lived in a trailer park. So Rebecca lived in the same trailer park as her mom and John White. I don't even want to call him Pastor John White. He went to her house. Her and her three-year-old son were in there. And her son was in his bedroom and Rebecca was in the living room. And she was used to him coming over because he would babysit. So she was just like, you know, hey, how you doing? That kind of thing. And when she turned around, he started hitting her in the head with a rubber mallet. And he hit her in the head until she fell unconscious. And then he put a zip tie around her neck and strangled her to death. After murdering Rebecca with her child in the next room, she had a three-year-old little boy named Conway. How cute is that? He puts her body, it doesn't say, just somewhere where, he, where the little boy's not going to see it when they walk out. Since it's Halloween, he dresses Conway in his Halloween costume. And then he takes Conway to Conway's dad's house and drops him off for a night of trick-or-treating. So then, Lord only knows, I think we all know, if we, he went back to that trailer or not because he got some fantasies. But he told police, because the police picked him up when they found out about his background. They picked him up. And he told them where they could find her body because he had dumped it. And he also told them that the murder was fueled by him watching adult movies involving people that were necrophiliacs. Can I say that on YouTube? I sure hope so. So he was watching adult movies about necrophilia and it got him going. So he went over and killed Rebecca. And then he told the police that he doesn't remember. I'm not sure. Don't remember if I went back and had intimate relations with her body or not. I'm just not sure. I can't remember if I did. You know damn well he did. He finally got justice in April 2013. He got a life sentence. Thank God. He was 55 years old and he got 56 years in prison. No chance of parole. Like he had to do that 56 years. So basically he got life. Well, he couldn't take it because four months later in August of that year, he was found hanging in his jail cell. So, that's how that one ends. Let me know what you think about that sick mf -er. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video.